Okay, so I'm going to share very briefly, because I know people don't want to watch a long video, I'm going to share very briefly uh, how I clean my records. Uh, we're first going to start with the solution. I do a solution of uh, using the 91% isopropyl alcohol, uh, distilled water. Uh, hold that thought there. And as a surfactant, I use the uh, finish uh, rinse aid. Some people use um, actual laundry or dish soap. I just use the, uh, the rinse uh, aid for dishwashers. So what I do, a couple drops of the rinse aid in the bottom. I do 10 ounces of the alcohol and then I go another 15 ounces of the uh, distilled water and uh, that's the solution and then I have another spray bottle high output filled with distilled water for rinse. I'll show you that in a, in a moment. Uh, to scrub and clean the uh, records I use a stain pad uh, that you can buy at any paint department whether it be Home Depot or Walmart and I get the type that can take the refill cartridges. This uh, will clean well, about 20 records, maybe less depending on how dirty the records are. Okay, over here. To clean the records, I got these suction cups uh, in the tile department of Home Depot and they protect the label from the moisture. So I, what I simply do is, it's a little tricky, it took me a minute with the help of my wife to figure this technique out, but I place it over the label, I flip it over, and actually I can see the center of the pad of the suction cup is right through the hole there. And then I always have the, the, the handles away from me, and then I press down on both sides, and I clasp the handles, and then I've got a waterproof system for that. So then, and of course I've got a dirty pot in here uh, to make the video all the more entertaining, but uh, I simply spray wet one surface and I apply a pretty decent amount of force. I can, you can hear it scrubbing. And I'm really getting in those grooves. I go around several times. I go with the grooves. I never go perpendicular towards the center. I always go around the circumference of the record going with the grooves on the record, getting it pretty good. And do the other side. And I'm, I'm kind of flexing the record. I'm pressing hard enough to where it flexes just a bit. I really want to get in there. And I'm going a little bit faster for the sake of the video because again, I know nobody wants to sit here and watch drawn out videos like I did learning all this stuff. So we're doing this very quickly. And then you take your high pressure and you knock down all that dirt and yuck, yucky grime that's in the record. This will not fix, obviously, physical defects in the vinyl, scratches and that sort of thing, but it does make a massive difference with uh, the playback quality. I'm using, it's almost like a terry cloth type of uh, towel, but it's microfiber. It, it, it soaks up the, the moisture pretty well. Clean it up, and then I come back over here, and I have a towel laid out, and I can gently open them up, and then I, I there's always a little bit of water on the edge of the, where the uh, suction cups were, and then I have these vinyl coated file folder racks that are very gentle on the records and. I can see a little dust right there. Anyways, I can do 16 at a time with this system and they, they dry in a couple hours and it really makes a big difference. I hope this helps, thanks, bye.